Welcome back to Shots Fired. In this episode, I want to talk about the snap fire that I recently acquired for five bucks at my local Big Lots. I will be doing a modification to the snap fire as promised, and I will take out the air restrictor. The air restrictor is located inside the barrel, and it pretty much prevents um, a dart firing if it's not all the way in. My um, what is it? My air restrictor was jammed, so I needed to take it out in order to use the blaster. The tools that you will need are a hammer, a rather long, rather sturdy screwdriver, screwdriver to actually take apart the blaster, and a key ring for later. Trust me, if you don't have this, it will be immensely hard to use your blaster. Well, one last tool, you are going to need a knife or a saw of some sort. Alright, so let's begin. At the back of the blaster, you will see four screws right here. Take your screwdriver and take them all out. The plunger tube will come right on out after the or head rather. Just put this to the side, you will need that later. Now, what you want to do, you want to take your screwdriver and you want to stick it in the front of the barrel until it can't go any further. From there, you take your hammer and you bash on it. Not like this, you'd rather do it like this standing up, I'm just showing the camera. And you do that until the air restrictor goes down to the bottom. It will get stuck right around here. That's where you want to take your metal rod and you just want to shove it through and the air restrictor right here will pop right on out. Now this part might be a little bit tricky but you want to take this and you want to cut out these little side bits. You might want to use a glove for this part so you don't cut yourself. Repeat for the other side. Alright, so at the end it should look like this. And you want to take your key ring and you want to insert it. I have no clue how to put these two together, so I'm going to wing it from here. And I just dropped my camera. That's great. Alright, I think I just figured out a way how you can do this easily. So you want to take a knife or a shin, shin, thin sheet of something metal, coated hopefully, and you just want phone again, oh, I, not phone camera. What did I say phone? And you want to take it and you just want to insert it right there so the top part comes off a little bit, and then from there it should be quite easy. Yep, there we go. And you just want to thread it around. So boom, you got your key ring pull back. Now from there, you take your snap fire, you put your plunger head back into the blaster, and make sure the bottom is aligned with the bottom and the top is aligned with the top, and insert your screws. So once you get, so I only put on two of the four screws, so it's easier to take apart if needed, and because I lost two of the screws, don't worry. So yeah, this was a $5 modification, and it increases the S FPS of the Snapfire, along with giving it a bigger draw, because the plunger tube isn't restricting any space, you know. I'm just going to tighten this up a little bit more, it's kind of loose. And there we go. Now for a firing test. As you can see, I have an archery target off in the distance, and I'm going to fire three darts up at it about, I'd say, two, three yards away. And the dart, I forgot to show you this, but the dart will go all the way into the barrel and not be sticking out. Yeah, 
this modification only cost five dollars for the blaster and I'd say about maybe a dollar maybe half a dollar for this I don't know how much these things cost but this is a great modification if you didn't do modification yet and you would like to get into this hobby I suggest this is as your first one what's that rattle oh it's a key ring or not oh I'll take care of that so yeah I drop stuff yeah well uh, snapfire modification check it out it's pretty cool I suggest you check out Walcom's Snapfire mod. That thing, I want it. Can I have that thing, please? Thank you. Alright. Uh, see you guys in the next video, I guess. Bye-bye.